like this, you don't like cars. Car is extremely fun. Take the curves like it's nothing. That's a great track car. Such a great track car. I'm telling you guys, if you get a chance to drive one of these, drive one. I drove the uh, GT500. Now that car is a handful. It's a different animal. Um, I mean, this car here is just so predictable. You can run it through its paces, and I mean, it just wherever you put it, that's wherever it goes. It's so so predictable, so precise. It handles like its own rails. I mean, Ford. I just I really have to give it to them. And at least in my opinion, they knocked it out of the park on this one. This is. Uh, this is bad. guys this is my first time driving a 2021 Mach 1 not gonna beat on it too hard this is a, a friend of mine's car it's only got 430 miles on it so not gonna give it too much hell cruise around buckle up for safety yeah this this car is really fun guys I love the way it handles it, it just it's on a rail it's uh, very uh, predictable wherever you point it that's where it's gonna go car has really good grip really good traction 
So if you haven't had a chance to drive one, I recommend doing so. Uh, I tell you, I've been wanting a 10 speed for a while. But this here has um, changed my mind. This, this Tremec is, is awesome. And you got the same transmission out of the GT350. pretty excited at the moment but it's just a super fun car I can't express how much it just brings you back man that old school feel I remember I had a 1989 LX 5.0 and it had the manual transmission the uh, world-class T5 and uh, we used to speed shift them back in the day but this here is um really cool being able to hold it to the floorboard and not have to let up any it just makes the experience just 10 times greater than what it would be i had a 2017 performance pack um and i enjoyed that car thoroughly but I, it was it was nowhere near this fun um but you know a lot of problem we had the mt82 transmissions in these cars a lot of people complained about the mt82 they had a lot of issues i wasn't a big fan of the mt82 myself this car having the Tremec in it, that that should sell this car right here. Um, and this is even an easy car to learn on for people, you know, that's never driven a manual. This would be an easy car to learn on because the clutch is not stiff at all. The gears are like butter. Um, they got it right by putting the Tremec in it. So if I had to choose three GT350 over this, I would choose this over the GT350 just because of, it's basically the same car with a different engine. Um, and of course, the looks are different, but the Coyote's, you know, proven itself to be a reliable engine. It responds really good to, to modifications. So to me, it's just the, the better choice and the car to have. Let loose. 
Pierce and have fun. You know, I think as far as collectability, you know, it's really hard to say if any of these cars are going to be collectible. Me personally, I see it very possible these being collectible, but I think it's mainly going to be the ones, I think it's really just going to be the ones with the Tremec transmission in it. You know, there's so many 10 speeds around. If you're going to buy a Mach 1 with the 10 speed, I just, I don't foresee it holding a value that it's going to hold with the Tremec. So the Tremec just makes it so much more than what it really is feel so much more connected to the car it's got so much more of a fun factor uh, don't get me wrong the 10 speeds fast but it's hard to outrun it but you know the way you can keep your foot to the floor on this one um, you know uh, that just kind of takes the place of it 